They've been sewing for 17 months, making and distributing more than 350,000 masks. I'm Tara Lynn Wagner, and I had a chance to catch up with the Auntie Sewing Squad as they get ready to give their fingers and machines a well-earned rest. I love the sound it makes. It's the sound of community, compassion, and a 72-year-old vintage sewing machine that's been Sandra Heiss's constant companion for many months. And it sews like a dream. In March of 2020, when the pandemic first hit, Sandra wanted to do something to help. She heard about a group of volunteers sewing masks and immediately took her place in the auntie sewing squad. I'm one of the OG aunties. I been in since the beginning. The retired teacher estimates that she's made close to 1,100 masks. It's a very intentional act. As she sews, Sandra reflects on the possible recipients, farm workers, the unhoused, border communities, and it gave her a real sense of purpose. Some of the communities that we serve have my heart, so it's really very comforting to know that I was able to do something positive. Her job is almost done, though. The Auntie Sewing Squad was the brainchild of artist and performer Christina Wong. With Matt's produced masks now readily available, she's officially retiring the group, which she never expected would be needed this long. It's sort of bittersweet because I think we really felt like at the top of this that we could defeat this virus with sewing. We set out early on that our goal was to become obsolete. This should have been the job of a federal agency to distribute these masks, and it's fallen on a bunch of volunteers. Still, she's <laughs> proud of really, what she created. Armed with thread and bobbins, the aunties went to war fighting a virus using whatever early supplies they could, from dollar store elastic headbands to Christina's Hello Kitty sewing machine. This one is my battle axe for some reason. Near that machine is a photo taken by Chinese-American photographer Corky Lee, who dedicated his career to documenting AAPI communities. He died of COVID early this year. And so we've lost our record keepers, right? The photo shows striking Asian-American anyway, so. garment workers. Christina's own grandparents worked in laundries when they first came to America. She sees the auntie sewing squad as a full circle moment. This is such a strange ancestral destiny that we thought We've left this behind, that this, uh, this kind of labor was part of this rite of passage to America. And now it's how we like are supporting America in this mess of not being prepared. Even though it's time to tie up their loose ends, she doesn't think masks themselves are going anywhere. They're everywhere. And neither does Sandra. I do think masking is important. I think it should be here to stay. I think it should be embraced and supported. Living alone, her connection with the aunties was a lifeline. And while she admits it feels strange to turn off her machine in the midst of a surge, she's also ready to move on. I feel blessed. I think we've made a huge difference and it's created a focus, an ability to do something meaningful during very, very stressful times. She plans to find new ways to be of service to her community and put her time and skills to good use. Being an auntie is now woven into her character.